uh, this video is about merge sort. Uh, let's see. Let's first see what exactly merge sort does. So, given an array, we split it into two parts and keep on doing, repeating this process recursively till we are left with one element array. And then we put it back into place. But this time we check which is a smaller element and create the new array. So basically we'll have two parts in the code. First, which does the splitting. Second, which puts it back in place. And this this process is recursive and then this process is recursive until we, are, uh, we make a new array, which is the sorted one, right? So let's get into coding this. Oh yeah, go into Eclipse, create a new project. Uh, let's name this project merge merges okay uh, we'll wait for it to build the paths okay uh, now we go into source right click over here create a new class uh, let's name this class merge sort nice uh, now what we need to do is first we need to uh, create uh, it will have an instance of an array okay so this is the syntax for right declaring an array uh, we need a temporary array then we need a variable for an integer for length length right uh, now we declare the main part public static void main string argument is okay uh, we'll come back to this later first let me create the functions that we'll be needing one is public void uh, merge sort let's name it merge sort mm. and the other one will be public void uh, let's name this one merge Mm, okay, so let's get started with this one first. So merge sort it will basically take an integer as the start uh, the starting index and the ending index. Let's name it int high and int low. Uh, then what we need uh, we which says if low is less than high high mm, only then we'll work on the code. So if low is greater than high, that means we have already uh, sorted the array. So we have passed our, we have like looped through the entire array and we're done. So we say, we declare a variable called mid and this would be equal to low plus uh, high minus low by two. So you can declare it as low plus high by two also, but I think I prefer this approach. Uh, then we recursively sort the array from low to mid and we recursively sort the array from mid plus one to high all right and after we done done with this we need to merge them back so merge will take low mid and high as the inputs Oh, let me correct the spacing over here. Uh, okay. Uh, now we need to give it three input arguments int low, int mid, and int high. Then, uh, first we need to copy the entire array from the original array into the temporary array. So we take int i is equal to low i less than equal to high i plus plus okay and then what we do is temp array i is equal to array i so this simply copies the entire array into the temporary array now uh, we declare i equal to low so we do this because we don't want to lose i uh, low low mid and i so that is why we create new variables uh, this equal to mid and uh, no this will be equal to mid plus one and then we take a k which is again equal to low okay 
now create the loop while i is less than equal to mid and low uh, j is less than equal to high uh, we compare the array elements if temporary array i is less than equal to temporary array element j so we simply do array element k is equal to temp array element i so we are simply comparing which of the elements is smaller and we're copying it into the original array else uh, okay so what i missed over here is uh, we need to increment i over here and again if this is the thing uh, else array k is equal to temp array j and j plus plus okay so we missed a semicolon over here and then we increment k as well now whatever elements are still left after this simply need to be copied so we say while well, i is less than equal to mid array k array k is equal to temp array i i plus plus and k plus plus perfect uh, now what we say is we create a new function uh, let's call it public void sort so this sort is basically the function that we call and implement both the functions that we just created so this dot array is equal to uh, we need to give it an input uh, let's say array to sort sweet name array to sort okay so this will be array not error then this dot temp array will be equal to uh, a new integer array of length length but we didn't define what is length so let's do that this dot length equals array to sort dot length pretty cool and now we simply call our function merge sort from 0 to length minus 1 okay so there seems to be an error in the spellings this is length nice and now we simply write down our main function so let's first create the array that we need to sort let's name it array to sort again array to sort uh, let me define some random numbers over here like say 43 25 11 10 0 minus 2 minus 98 0 100 okay now we create an instance of the merge sort class let's name it arr uh, this is equal to a new merge sort class okay and then we say array dot we simply call our sort function and the input to this will be array to sort okay and now we're done we just need to print this so let's say int i colon array to sort and system dot out dot print uh, okay say array oh no so let's give a space over here and then 
we say system system dot out dot print uh, let's print the array length to be sure array length equals array to sort dot length okay uh, what did we miss okay we actually didn't print anything we just printed spaces over here so let's replace this by i and then we need space so let's remove this from here otherwise it will keep printing it in every loop let's take this outside and let's copy this Control c v and then print the space so we need a space uh, to show individual elements okay let's try running this uh, 9 minus 98 minus 2 0 0 10 11 25 40 300 error length is 9 code seems to be working fine let's just add one more statement over here and then we'll be done uh, let's first enter a new line over here let's uh, let's give it array no sort it array equals and then we print all the elements now let's run this oh we missed the semicolon over here sorted array is minus 98 minus 2 0 0 10 11 25 43 code seems to be working fine print the length equal to 9 uh, if you got any queries you can write down in the comment section please make sure to like the video if you did like it comment subscribe share and keep watching peace